Welcome back guys, time to continue. This is getting actually more and more interesting, the story. I'm starting to put the pieces back together. But Truger being the fucking shit that actually betrayed us all. I'm missing the... I'm missing a... Uh, the car there. Get away from me. I can't get through there. Except by taking damage, I think. Whoa! A lot of blood here. Headless guy. Oh, so we already have uh, the card. What the... What the fuck? Where did you come from? Where did that thing come from? Very dark. Fuck oh off. Whoa. Corrupted soldiers. Storage area. Nice. That. That. <laughs> Motherfucker. Caught me into a corner there. And my mouse slipped too. PDA here. Whoa. Just noted that uh, the fat so has some uh, bloody feet. Restored in locker room. Okay, 259. 259. Cool. Just got my health back. Which one's that? Hey! Come down here. I'm waiting for you. Move it. What the fuck now? Stop spawning behind me. What now? Who's doing that? What the fuck? This guy again. Oh shit, it's actually creepy. This is scary. What's that? It's a new enemy. What is that? What was that? 
Damn, this place is terrible. I wanna get out of here. Fast. What was that thing? that thing up there it appeared to be summoning those imps you know what I'm gonna save here just in case I'm guessing I'll meet that thing soon this is where it was it's down there now Die. I got it. Yeah, that thing summons. It summons demons. What the hell was that? You know, I've never seen one of these things so far in the vents. Thank God, but it's interesting. What? Is someone alive? Thank God. Ah, you surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is six two four. Six. I hope you can use it. Six to four. Six two four. Six two four. There we go. What? What was that? A new type of uh, BFG cell type of ammo. I think he blocked the, the way in. That's blocked. I don't think we'll be coming back here too soon. I'm gonna stay here and keep working. I'll upload my findings into the database. Look, I can't go with you. This is too important for me to leave. Are you kidding me? You should get out of here. Get some help and tell them I'm still down here. Look, I can't go with you. This is too important for me to leave. Can I use this? No. No reports? Nothing? Nothing for me to hear? Scan? Okay. At least it's dead. Ew. Damn, this thing looks very strong. Okay, so he blocked off the area, but I think it's very easy to get through. I don't think that's actually a solution, my friend. Uh-oh. One down. More. I couldn't dodge that. 
what's that? It's a spinal cord. And more of this... More of these uh, demons. More of this type of demons. Hey, open the door for me, damn it. Or is there another way to go around? What? Fuck this, where are you? Where did you come from? Seriously. There we go. At least make yourself useful. And open the what, what is this? Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. Oh. So they knew about them. All along. They knew about this creature. Whoa. It's still alive. They knew about them. Welcome to the Delta Complex. So Stasis that's what chambers. he said when he said this he opened hell. He was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional and beings. And what does it say about this thing? During some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. In While little is known specimen about their 197. These humanoids the specimens long and muscular limbs make it extremely agile as a biped or quadruped. These long and sharp claws allow for climbing steep surface surfaces. Studies. Configuration of ten eyes oh. provides this creature a well wide field of vision and the ability to see with clarity in low light environments. The method by which these plasma masses are created so I'm guessing they don't need a flashlight. <laughs> What's the, this is the thing with the rocket launchers. Okay. Another M. What the hell is that? And whoa, what the? I've never seen this before, and it seems to be big. Let's see. Revenant. So the skeleton thing. This creature's endoskeleton is visible through a translucent, non-solid skin. Despite the absence of any visible muscles, this creature is able to strike at close range of enormous strength. Two shoulder-mounted cannons controlled by its nervous system allow this creature to fire guided rocket-propelled missiles. Wow. Impartial. Left forearm amputated for biological study. Researchers are currently studying how this creature is able to to manifest and throw an explosive plasma projectile from its hand. Huh. You'd just love to do that, wouldn't you? Living dead partial. Able to function without recognizable brain activity, this creature has little regard for self-preservation. Though slow moving, its behavior is aggressive and tenacious, so this is actually the people that turn into the possessed. Hell Knight Partial. The cranial mass of this bipedal specimen indicates that this is one of the largest creatures inhabiting the site, overpowering its prey with sheer might. The Hell Knight is one of the most ferocious predators known to our researchers. Like the imp, this creature is able to defend itself at long range with thrown plasma projectiles. Fuck. At least uh, it's a good thing we didn't encounter that thing first. 
yet. I'm sure we will soon. Hello? What the fuck? Holy shit! Almost jumped out of my seat. He died. Jacob Stemons. Holy shit. Storage lockers. 371. No power on. Fuck. Yeah, I just noticed that. Where we need to go is extremely dark. Damn. Freaking vents. Activate conveyor. Oh. that does maybe I should use the chain gun here oh, I think we need to follow it I wish we had a drone That's much better. I don't even need that thing for light too much. that thing for light. I have a flashlight and I can also use the shotgun better I think. So what was the code for it? 371. No. 371. Alright. that much armor whoa fucking scared me again stop doing that hey video disc I think this is uh, about the specimens 
Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chamber. Yeah, it is. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered dur yeah, I don't need to hear that. It's already up. I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Wasn't that bad? What the fuck? Fuck off, you piece of shit. Seriously use some uh What you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul Q. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine U1 have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning U1. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up U1. Huh. Always thinking about yourself. So we have another video of this, I guess. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bowman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I have only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time we have not seen any reaction from the cube and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of log. Okay, so the soul cube is actually a weapon. You need to what kill you see before five you things. Probably. Soul cube in hell, and you will never fight it. Suck my balls, Petruger. Fuck off, you little shit. I'm coming for you, you fucking. And you're going to die. Painful. Fuck. 
Son of a bitch. Fucking shit. He was shielding the other guy. Couldn't get past him. If I got close, I, would, I could have gotten like fucked by both of them at the same time. It's pretty annoying. Shit. I need a code. Go PDA. This should give me the code. Elliot Swan investigation report. The charges against Dr. Petruger are being taken very seriously. You may know you see matter policy, la 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 la. Storage room changes, that's what I need. Code area to 725. And there's. Okay, let's go first to that. Let's go to. The locker. Seven, two, five. Oh, wait. 372. Oh, fuck that! Lame, but it had some armor, huh? So it was a trap. That's why it had the code on it. Nice try. Seven two no. What was it? Seven two five. Seven two five. There we go. Free my ass, open the door, damn it. Doesn't even work. Bullshit. Nothing is free. And we need the code for the door. This this uh, woman is actually full of codes. Huh. Four six three. Four six Six three. Fucking great. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, it's dead now. And that's the end of the level. Quite a mini boss there. Right? Delta Labs Sector 3. This sure is a long way to go through this lab. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next level.